Hello friends, welcome. I'm glad you're here with me today. So today's project is another one from the Farmer's Market Digital Collection from Heartfelt Creation. And today we're going to be making a 6x6 card that's kind of like a Thanksgiving card. It could be thank you. It could just be, you know, an anytime, any occasion card really. But uh, I really love the images. It's got a little bit of a different vibe than what I normally do, but I'm excited to share it with you. So let's go ahead and switch our camera and take a look at it. All right, so here are my pieces that I've made for creating this card. And for the, I'm gonna start calling these like the traditional products, and then I'll refer to the digital products as digital products. Hopefully that will kind of help with any confusion. So my flowers and my leaves are the rustic sunflower, and I did make those using the original products. And I, I used all of these and um, for the sizes I used uh, this medium one and this one so these two and I think I did each of them two or three times and then I made a handful of leaves the other original product that I used is the majestic swirl frame and specifically I'm using this one right here I die cut this one twice out of white and they are right here so those are the only um, kind of original stamp and dies that I used right there. I'm also using some original paper. This piece of paper is from the All Glammed Up and I just wanted it to have a black background. So it's actually, um, you could use this side where it's smaller or this side, it doesn't really matter. And then I, I cut this one. So I believe this one measures uh, yeah, it's six by six. And then I cut this one down to about four and three quarter by four and three quarter. So now for our digital products. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you real quickly. There we go. So for my uh, digital products, I chose this uh, grouping of vegetables that is in the elements. And I shrunk it down to be uh, five and a half. Um, the first number there on the measurements, five and a half. And it's a kind of a almost square piece. So it's almost five and a half each direction. Then this piece is one of the digital stamp sets that has this real pretty handmade with love. And that's what we're gonna use. Now I go ahead and cut them all out. This is grouped together as all things. So I just go ahead and print them and cut them all out. And I know that I'll use those extra pieces later. However, um, I am not sure if there's a way to unsync these if there's so that you only can print one. I haven't really tried to do that because I'm fine with m going ahead and making them all. So that's something I'll have to explore on a different day. So back to my workspace. Let's go ahead and get started. So there are my two digital pieces. And just so let's hop back to the flowers real quick. I stamped all of these in black, which is not my norm. I normally, um, you know, would not stamp my flowers in black, but because so much of my card is black, I wanted them to uh, kind of match the rest of the card. And I, I thought being stamped in a different color, it, it wouldn't look quite the same. So um, doo -doo 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 -doo, I believe I stamped those in my Memento black ink. And then I colored them up. Let's see here. I have lots of colors here. <laughs> I started with goldenrod, and on the black, it didn't quite uh, give me, I wanted to kind of make them look like these, so I didn't like it with just the goldenrod, so then I brought in a little bit of tea rose, and still that wasn't quite dark enough for me on the orange, they still didn't quite look like these, so then I brought in some coastal coral, and that kind of got the centers to be um, a color that I liked them a little better, and then I came back with just a little bit of sunflower uh, to do just the tips to kind of lighten them up a little bit. So that was kind of my journey on coloring these flowers. And I think I didn't let my ink dry before I started um, putting like my black ink. I didn't let it dry. So when I first uh, did that goldenrod, I think it smeared my black ink just a little bit. But I decided to go ahead and use them because I still think they're pretty. And then for the centers of my flowers, I used the, um, it's called Vesuvius. 
and it, it's just a, a pretty kind of sparkly dark brown uh, it's not really prills. It came in a bag, but you know, however you like to do your, your sunflowers, you, you can do those up. So, and then for my leaves, I went down the center with the vivid chartreuse and then I did the edges with the olive. And I, I thought that kind of picked up the green here in the, the image pretty well. So that is how I colored those. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of slide these pieces out of the way. And we're gonna cut a card base because I did not do that beforehand. So to cut my card base, I'm just gonna go ahead and make myself a six by six card. It's finally cold in Texas. Like when I say cold, it's just colder. Like I actually put a sweatshirt on today. So it's been a long time coming. We feels like it's been summer here for a long time. So we were happy to have a chilly day. Got a little bit of Vesuvius uh, coming out of my flowers. Okay. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue on my background paper. And I'll put this here and put my pen in it and hopefully not lose my pen again. <laughs> And if you don't have this paper, I mean, any sheet of black would do. And uh, really just any paper that coordinates with the vegetables. And of course, if you have the all glammed up digital, you could uh, print this as well. Which I do, but uh, I did go ahead and use it out of uh, one of my paper pads. Okay, so there's my base layer. Now the next piece I'm going to do is this one, and I'll show you how we're going to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put glue right here on the center part of this piece over here. Now I'm going to take my square and I'm going to lay it right on here so that I can see these little decorative bits on both sides. See that? So about like that. So I know that's a bit taller there, but that, that's how I want it. So I'm gonna put it about like that. Now I'm gonna do the same on the other end. And they will overlap a little bit, but I'm gonna hide those overlapping bits with my flowers, so that's not gonna be a problem. So the same thing, I'm just going to Put that right on there. Ooh, that overlapped really well. And, all right. I just really liked this piece having that fun edge. Okay. Now for this piece, I am gonna go ahead and I'm going to pop that up a bit. Let's see, put my pin back in here. Grab some foam. Oops, it's in my hair. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. That's not good. I'm going to do it this way. new to heartfelt creation uh, products they are going completely out of business you can still get some of the sets in a digital format so i do encourage you if you like these digital products you'll want to go ahead and get those purchased they are on a really good discount right now 
but you'll want to do that before November 30th because on November 30th is when the website will close down. So uh, if there's any products you're still wanting or if you're just discovering it, you'll want to get what you want before then. Okay, so now that we have this, and, and right now only the digital products are available on their website. Anything that is the original products those would have to be uh, purchased in a secondary market somewhere. So now that we have that, I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna center that right here on our card base. Okay. Now for our fun vegetable piece. My printer always curls things just a little bit. And it's gonna go right here. And I'm gonna go ahead, I think I'm gonna pop this up as well. I like cards with dimension. Sometimes I, my A2 cards, I often make flat for my mom, my sister, but when I'm making heartfelt, I'm sorry, they have to be dimensional. <laughs> it's just, uh, they were made to be lifted. I think that's going to be, yeah, that's good. Okay. All right. Now I'm not going to stick that down quite yet because I've also made this uh, piece that says handmade with love and I'm going to pop that up as well and I'm going to put it right here and I think I want that. Let's decide here. Do we want that popped up or do we want that flat down? I think I'm gonna pop it up too. Whoa, 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 what happened there? Well, that's weird. My scissors aren't working. Huh, never had that happen before. That's so weird. Not gonna worry about. It. We're just gonna move on. But that that was weird. Okay. So I think what I started to say before my my scissors did that was, I would love it if you would let me know in the chat, or in the comments, I should say. If you need more instruction on how to size these or how to upload them and download them, if you need more um, in my videos, if you want me to cover the steps of transferring them from my file that I have them kept in over to my Cricut and all of that, or if you kind of feel like you've got a handle on that and you don't need me to do that. So, and then sometimes I will go ahead and make my flowers with you. Other times, I'll have them uh, ready ahead of time. So that'll just be a little more random. I do have a couple other uh, projects ready to go using um, the farmer's market that I'm looking forward to sharing with you. I just thought with it being Thanksgiving, the farmer's market uh, was a good set to go along with harvest and all that kind of thing. I love the way this little banner just fit right in uh, the shape of these this vegetable element. As soon as I saw the farmer's market collection, uh, this vegetable uh, layout here just spoke to me as so bright colored and pretty and just really liked that. I love how the bright colors of those vegetables pop on the black. Okay, so you could be done right here, but let's add some dimension with our flowers. So I'm just going to add some in here. Let's see. I don't really want to cover up all of my, let's see, 
you think of it like this a little too much I think I like that one being covered up I don't mind these two showing but let's add some leaves I think this one might be a little too big. I'm gonna grab a smaller one. Do that the other way around. Put the smaller one on this side. And sometimes I just like to cut my leaves because they're a little, uh, these are really uh, big leaves and they're a little too big sometimes for my flower. Trim that one down a bit more. If you look at how they're drawn, there's a place there where you can kind of trim them and make them work better for these smaller flowers. Alright, I'm going to put one more leaf under there. Like that. And maybe one more. I don't like the way that covers up too much of my cutting them all down today. All right, I think I like it like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my glue gun. We're gonna attach some flowers. The digital products, I've said this before, it kind of feels like cheating because there's no coloring, there's no, you know, it just, uh, it really simplifies a lot of things. And I do enjoy working with the digitals, but I don't think I would want to just do that and not also uh, do the coloring myself and the, um, you know, I really enjoy that. But if you're a crafter that that is tedious to you and you prefer having the elements ready to go, if you're a real fan of like ephem ephemera packets and things like that or chipboard pages and stickers, if you like crafting that way, then you're going to love the digitals because it does take that, uh, you know, the part where you have to color and do some of that artistic stuff, it, it takes that away. You're yeah, it simplifies it. I don't know. Oops. I'm trying not to burn myself here. put this all down as one piece. All right. All right, well, there we go. That came together very quickly. I love just the colors of this card. I love that black background, handmade with love, and inside you've got a large place where you can write your message i may decide to to stamp a, a further message on the inside but for now that's exactly what i had in mind and i love using this die as a, a little edger there i think that looks really pretty okay so since we're working and we have uh, plenty of time here let's go ahead and make another card real quick so i have a, you know what, let's do this one because it is a six by six and we'll save that other one to do on another day. So I'm going to move those out of the way. And I have cut a few more pieces here, another six by six base and another uh, a little bit smaller square. And then I've cut some round pieces and I didn't pull these. But at the end, I can grab those and show you. And these are just some more of the pieces uh, that I did from the farmer's market. And for this one, it is sized to uh, pretty much right at a five inch uh, circle. It's a little tad smaller than a five inch, but if you went with five inch, you'd be fine. And I just uh, 
die cut this using the uh, original die so that I could have just a little white lace edge around my circle. And then from the same die set, I cut the largest one to be a base. I did that in blue to pick up the blue that's going around. And then also from the digital harvest or market farmers market, the digital farmers market elements, I uh, cut these two pieces and these pieces. So I have quite a few pieces here from the elements. For the flowers, I used the the one from the Berry Delight, but I just wanted a small little flower. Again, I stamped it in black, and I colored this one up using Verbena. So I did the six by six because we're going to go ahead and use the other half of the piece that we just did. I'm gonna try not to burn myself on my glue gun over here. There we go. And I think this one's gonna to come together very quickly as well. Okay. So again, we're gonna go ahead and glue down this base piece. And I have to admit, I, I grabbed these pieces out of my uh, scrap box, so I'm not sure exactly where they come from. I'll look on the back of the other piece and see if it gives me a clue. Whoops, didn't get that on quite straight. Oh. There we go. All right, it looks like I cut it a little too large, so I'm going to trim off that edge. Sometimes I wonder, who does the measuring around here? <laughs> I get them so off sometimes, I don't know how. All right, all these pieces I'm going to push aside. Now this one I'm going to go ahead and glue straight onto here, and then I'll pop it up when I put it on the blue. Oops, got crooked eyes today. That's pretty good, I guess, okay. Oops. So are you all heavy into making Christmas uh, cards and things right now or how are you all done with your Christmas crafting I have a handful that I've made but uh, I still have several that I need to do <laughs> Now I'm just going to layer this one on top of the blue. Try to get that centered the first time. Okay. All right, now this piece I'm going to set aside because this one, I think I want to trim it down just a tad because it looks to be a little bit bigger. It's not quite a perfect square here. And I'm going to let's see, is that big enough? No. I want this one to have a white outline. So I'm going to go ahead and normally I would ink all these edges. And since it's our second card and I don't want you to have to watch me ink everything, I am skipping that step. And you know how much I hate that. <laughs> I do like an inked edge. Oh probably regret it later, but uh, for the sake of the video, I'm going to just keep working. <laughs> Let's see. I don't see what I did with my scissors. So I'm just going to go right ahead and do this on the paper trimmer. I 
see them. I put them away in the wrong place. I want this little dark part down here in the lower corner. All right, I'll go ahead and layer this one on there. So I loved this element, um, the little olive oil bottle, at least the Italian um, with me, uh, I thought of it as olive oil. I suppose it could be all kinds of things, but I loved how it said reap joy along with the harvest of blessing. I thought these went together very well to make a card for Thanksgiving. So now I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to center this piece. And for this card, I really wanted to, you know, build up the layers. So I'm going to have my little grape seeds kind of going up one side a little more than the other. There we go. And at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and glue my Harvest of Blessings onto the little frame that I made. And then this piece I am going to pop up. And it's going to go about right here off to one side. And then the bottle is going to overlap there where onto my Harvest of Blessing. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this one up as well. I'll need any more because it's going to overlay right there. So that ought to do that. Okay, before I glue these down, I'm now going to take my uh, dimensional leaves and I'm going to add those onto the base here. I'll go ahead and cut one of them apart. And I am going to add a little bit of foam to the back side. Give me some separation. All right. And do it maybe like that. And then this one, maybe right, where's my bottle going to go? About right here. Okay. So this is the first time I'm making these cards, so I did not have, you know, any blueprint or anything of how I was going to do this so you're getting to see me figure it out as I go I had a, a general plan but reap joy there we go I think that's gonna look good and then we'll feed a few of our purple flowers I don't know that grapes necessarily have flowers I did google it to kind of see and um, some of them have uh, some different things but they're it's creative license right we're gonna put some flowers on here <laughs> because <laughs> every card is prettier with a little flower. There we go. I think I'm going to go ahead and put my bottle down.
All right, what do you think of that? I think that's pretty. I like the way that's laid out. I'll hold it up for you after I we get some of our flowers on. And I don't think I'm going to put tons of the flowers on, but just a few. Because that one might be a little too big. Let's go with this a bit smaller one. Just gonna put them right in around the grapes. I think I like these little tiny ones best. All right, what do you think? I'm gonna take away that big one and try a tiny one or a smaller, a bit, just a tad smaller. Yeah, I like that better. All right, I'm gonna grab my, there's my scissors that I couldn't find. I put them away in the wrong place. <laughs> My glue gun went off. It'll heat back up pretty quickly. One thing I do find with the digital images is there's a little bit of freedom to um, maybe try things that I wouldn't have tried in the past, like with cutting and layering and... Uh, combining things uh, because it is just easy. I mean, if I mess it up, all you gotta do is print out another one. It's not like you gotta stamp it, color it. And so I, I feel like it kind of frees me up to uh, just maybe try some things or, or go, I don't really know how to explain it because I don't think my cards look different, but I do feel a bit of, you know, creative freedom knowing that all I have to do is print out another one if I mess up. So um, that's been kind of a surprise about the digitals. A pleasant surprise. Oops. All right. Clean up all my trash here and we will take a look at our two cards. I think I will come back with just a little bit of glitter on this one. Maybe add a little bit of glitter here on my flowers and just a, a little on the white part of this frame. But I think the vegetable one I'm going to uh, leave that one without glitter. I think it is kind of striking enough with its colors that it already is. So there's our Harvest of Blessing, Reap Joy. I think that is such a fun card for this time of year. Nice six by six size. And then our Handmade with Love. This would be a great card to go along with, um, you know, a gift or if you're making a meal to take to somebody at Thanksgiving or anything like that, that would be a a neat card to send with it. All right, I'll go ahead and switch my camera back. Thanks so much for joining me today, and I'm sorry my camera's in my head. It, there's no way to get this uh, just right, like so that you can see my desktop without the camera being so low that I have to duck, so I apologize, but that's the only way. We're not very technical savvy around here. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I love when you comment, and if you have any comments about what I can do with the digitals to help you in any way or to make the video more useful to you or you know I, I appreciate your feedback so I, I love it if you uh, kind of tell me what you're needing so that I can tailor the videos to to meet your needs so all right have a great day and I look forward to crafting with you again soon bye bye